we have learned before that the cases of heart failure are increasing day by day and is affecting more than 26 million population worldwide. Thus termed as a global pandemic with high mortality rates, it also decreases one's quality of life of the affected people. So endogenous neurohormonal mechanisms like the RAS system, the sympathetic nervous system as well as the natriuretic peptide system are the prime reasons for developing a heart failure. So how do we manage? The question arises here. What are the treatment modalities to be undertaken? Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to discuss about the safety of two class of drugs that help in managing heart failure. A recent study compared the safety as well as the efficacy of sacubitril valsartan, which is an angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor against NLRPL, which is an angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitor in patients with an acute heart failure at six-month follow-up period. The study that I'm talking about is published in the Indian Heart Journal. The study was a prospective, single-centered and observational study where patients with acute decompensated heart failure with a reduced ejection fraction were included. Patients were then divided into two groups. One was Valsartan Sacubitril, that is the ARNI group, and the other was the NLRPL group. Patients were followed up for at least six months after the administration of the first dose and were evaluated for safety, efficacy, as well as the tolerability of the target drug. A total of 200 patients were included, 100 each in both of these groups, that was the angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor, as well as the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor group. The mean maximum tolerated dose by the population in the ARNI group was 203.6 mg and 8.9 mg in the other group. Readmission for heart failure were seen significantly higher in the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor group than the other one. Parameters like ejection fraction, the left ventricular end diastolic and systolic dimensions, the 6 minute walk test, as well as the Kansas City cardiomyopathy questionnaires were also the other parameters that were looked into. Therefore, the researchers therefore concluded that the angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor study group showed better safety and efficacy outcomes at the end of six months follow-up compared to the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor group. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.